Latterly, I was reviewing wax jackets. Now is the time to fill some thin cloth jawline jacket. I believe it's one of the best in the market. Let's do a review together and see what you think about it. See you inside. Okay, this is the fill some thin clothes jawline cruiser jacket. Uh, before to start to, with the review itself, we're gonna talking about the the, the company. Uh, it's a really well known company and be, really uh, really well respected because the quality of the product that offer mainly for outdoor purposes. C.C. Filson started the company in 1897 and was at the beginning was aiming to provide a resilient uh, clothing for the people who was involved in the gold rush. After that, he when he finished the gold rush, he changed his uh, his aim toward the um, loggers, hunters, and outdoor activities. The company was uh, growing steadily and the, remains in the hand of the Filson family until 1970. From 1970, this company was sold four times. In 2005, they became a holding, Filson Holding, and in 2019 was appointed a new CEO, Paolo Corinaldesi, who is actually is the CEO of um, Filson. The Corinaldesi belongs or was uh, or was employed in WP Labori, who was a representative of Filson in Europe and introduced the brand in the, uh, to Europe. Uh, regrettably, or for good things, I don't know, all depend on the, which side you see this, uh, from 2019 with the new CEO, start to move in the production abroad in order to save costs and keep the price and don't going up in the price, but still this have produced um, garments in USA, mainly in Washington. Uh, this jacket was produced until 2019 uh, yeah, 1920 in uh, USA. After that, the production was moved abroad. In this case, this is are made in Bangladesh. I have the luck to have in my hand uh, because a friend of mine has one of these uh, made in USA, and we compare both jackets. And realistically, I cannot see any difference. Not even the construction, not even the quality. Uh, but. When we do the review of this jacket, uh, when we start seeing the characteristics of this jacket, we're going to see why. Uh, let's talk about where it comes from this jacket. This is the oldest uh, wax jacket in the market, uh, in terms of design. In 2000, uh, sorry, in 1912, uh, was patented um, the Crucier uh, shield, was made in bull at that time. Uh, and the evolution of that, due to the needles, they start to use in, two, in 1920, sorry, 1920, uh, waxed canvas, khaki, uh, khaki waxed canvas, that was provided by British Mellorain. Uh, and since then, we developed the, uh, we started with the, um, sorry, the jacket, the coat, or the jacket that developed at that time was the cruiser. I can find when was released this uh, short version of that crucial jacket. But the, the history background of this uh, is since 1920. Anyway, I went all over the place, even and sent um, an email to Filson that I have no answer from then, regrettably, asking when we start producing this jacket. Because this jacket some, has some characteristic that may look closer to the Tracker jacket, uh, type three tracker jacket from Levi's. But anyway, let's go to into the review of this jacket. I would say this uh, this jacket was is made of um, from um, waxed canvas from Millerian, uh, British Millerian from uh, Lancashire in UK. It's one of the oldest mills that produce wax jacket with, um, with uh, the other companies, Halley Stevenson's, that provide the, um, the wax canvas for Barber. Anyway, let's, let's see the characteristics first, uh, what these uh, are the features of this jacket. First one, what I say this jacket resembles a lot of Levi's, uh, um, tracker jacket type three. Look at the B. If you've seen, 
I don't know if you can appreciate the B, like a tracker jacket, has the pocket. It's a similar construction to the Type 3. Look at this. It's very similar. Has a has donut junk buttons, okay? But in the other side has only one, uh, all this pocket with three, uh, two dividers and three, three spaces, okay? This maybe for, for a pen, maybe for a knife, maybe for another thing. Anyway, and has the pockets. The pockets are, um, are how is it? Uh, stitched into, uh, to the shell. But you can see here, uh, still the, the bee continues until the, the, the waistband. Okay, let's see. Let's see a little bit. Yeah. Continue until the waistband. Okay? You can see. Yeah. That's it. Uh, that are similar, uh, similar um, how is it? features to the type three. Then the difference are is in the pocket. In this pocket, in the way are attached the 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 um, the, po the hang warm pockets. The color, the color is a simple stitch color, simple, uh, simple. The the canvas they use is uh, the thin cloth fourteen ounce. Uh, um, 14 ounce um, per, um, per yard square. Uh, let's see the back. It's very similar. It's very similar to the tracker jacket. You see, there are three panels here. There is no gossets in order to give more mobility. It's just a plain jacket. Uh, double stitch here, double stitch in the joke. Eh? Double stitch in the joke. I don't know if you can appreciate. Double stitch here, double stitch in the. Um, in the uh, when the sleep meet the the body, uh, I, I hear some people that asking for three um, tr triple stitch. I don't know how much difference do this uh, really because I have seen uh, all jackets in internet and the the stitch is gone strong, gone strong really. I don't know which difference gonna make triple stitch. Maybe the sensation that we are sure that's maybe strong, but. This, in, if you check out all jackets that have been beaten, the stitch is gone strong. Usually what is ripped off is the cloth itself. Uh, in the waistband, we have the waist adjusters with the donut button, junk donut buttons, okay? Uh, simple, there is no uh, back tacking like I have some other jackets, but it's, it's fine. I think it's, it is fine. It's a boxy shape, it's a boxy shape and is sit on the hips. This is size large. Uh, the sleeves is are wide, you see, are roomy sleeves, are very roomy, which is good, are not slim, by example, the, um, the, the uh, rook territory, sorry, the rook territory has a slimmer sleeves. And then this, these are very roomy and, and give you enough space for mobility. It has, um, uh, a rivet here to improve the resistance to this. The cuff has double stitch here and simple stitch here. Um, the, the bottom holes are fantastic. Um, has is cut through, uh, are sewing and cut through, which is a really good technique and prevent the, the, um, the loose, um, the shape of the. If we open this, then you can see that the pocket has double stitch too. Yeah. And the pocket has this, character, this characteristic, okay, that prevent l l the fills fall out of this, fall off. Okay, let's open this and see how it's inside. Inside, okay. It's lined and the lining is a covered cloth that is six ohms, uh, not waxed. Is unwaxed, uh, coming from uh, British Millennium too, but it's unwaxed. But the sleeves are satin, synthetic satin, eh, polyester, which are this I like more than the uh, uh, the, the, the um, line of the barbu jacket when coming with synthetic, like much more because this looks more breathable than the, the, the plastic feeling of the uh, barber jacket. Uh, in terms of the construction, there is good space. We have the label, this is size large, 
remember this is size large, made in, I don't know if you can see, Bangladesh, which is, I think is very important for some people, this. But in terms of construction, I can assure you there is no difference whatsoever. Uh, who can make this uh, weaker? Maybe the thread, is the thread they use, um, they use for, for, they use to sew in the, the jacket, but the density of the stitching, the characteristic of the stitching is the very same. The, the raw materials, which is the, the, um, the, um, how is the cloth, the thin cloth, is the same, Pro, uh, is coming from the same, it's have no change. Then, uh, really make difference to me, being not an uh, American citizen, it's not make a difference while it provides the, uh, uh, the same service and it has the same quality of construction. I know for you guys, uh, please comment uh, what you think about it, which is not made in use anymore, and you prefer that made in use, uh, and why. That is, is, is something that I'm very, very interested in, because in terms of quality, I think it make any difference. The construction is really, really good. Uh, let's go for the sizing now, because it's quite a simple jacket. Let's see the sizing. We're gonna do the sizing like I do, not, not like, um, how is um, Filson advice. I, I'm gonna tell you why. Um, and how is do the sizing this? Maybe it's, it's the right way, maybe it's not the right way, but I'm used to uh, um, sizing in this, in the way I do, and always work for me. Great. Uh, let's see. First, then armpit to armpit, which is the most important for me, always. It's the armpit to armpit is good, the, um, the rest sit fantastic always. Then armpit to armpit is 20... 23, okay, no, let me put five, right, 23.8, this is size large. Uh, you're gonna see when, when I, I do the, the fitting test, remember my, my measurements is, I, my height is uh, 184 centimeters uh, or six feet, and my weight is uh, 94 kilograms, uh, um, steady, thank of God, and my chest measurements 44 inch or 112 centimeters. Let's see the, this is almost 49, uh, 49 almost, uh, oh, no, 47, yeah, yeah, 47, almost 47. Then the, the shoulders, then it's uh, 20. The shoulders are 20 inches. Fantastic, really well, really well. I cannot complain of that measure. And the, the sleeves are 26, yeah, 26, a little bit more, 26.2, 26.2, which is a good length for the sleeves. And the uh, back length is 26. Uh, it's a really nice measurement for me. Uh, don't allow to heavy layer under this. I think, anyway, I think the purpose of this this uh, um, jacket is not to wear heavy layer underneath of this. Maybe a heavy shirt with a heavy tee. Uh, I'm gonna do the job really well. Or if you want more, you need to size up for sure. Instead to large for me, extra large, but. I don't do work outdoors, then I don't work outdoors, then it has no point to have a bigger size to lay it uh, and because I'm not gonna be uh, loggering or I'm not gonna be hunting or, or, or doing other activities with this jacket. Um, so far so good, the measurements are okay, but there is one thing I need to keep in mind, this is a jacket that's gonna give a really good service. The price is $350, and it was steady since mm, four years ago, in 2016. 2016, the price of the jacket was $325. I suppose they moved the production in order to keep the price um, uh, in, in the same price um, I, and save money and, in, and still have some earnings, uh, because 
if you buy the, the um, free knot clothes, it's more, more expensive. It's more expensive than this. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's more expensive than this. And I cannot say it's better than this. I cannot say that because I really like it. Uh, my my free knot clothes uh, rider, RJ1. I really like it. And this is a really good, really good jacket. And it's all one has a long history behind. The company that produced this really good, the materials, the source materials are really good. Then um, I think it's worth investment and you're gonna have a long, long term jacket, a long lasting jacket. Of course, like any wax jacket, this jacket need, need, sorry, they need to be rewaxed to, uh, um, last longer, and also, yeah, un unless you put in, in really stress and, and the, the lifespan of the jacket is going to be shorter. But if you give a regular, a, a normal use uh, without put too much stress in the jacket, if you rewax it every year, is my advice. Is my advice. I know it could be a pain or sometimes a little bit expensive to do this in year basis. Or you can do yourself. Or you can do yourself. There are plenty of videos can explain that. My recommendation is do in summer. If you're gonna rewatch this, do in, do in summer. Uh, and so far so good. Let's gonna do the test, um, uh, the, the fitting test, and let's see what you think. I really fell in. I fall in love with this jacket. I really fall in love with this jacket. It's really good. Uh, it's difficult to me to choose one. Where is the, the um, uh, fleet and tinder? Where is the rock territory? Where is the free knot? Or where is this? Oh, it's very, very difficult. But let's see how we fit and see uh, if this your style or you look for a different style. See you outside. Okay, this is how we fit this Filson thin clothes short liner jacket. Underneath, I wear a heavy gillette, bull gillette, and a flannel, and a heavy uh, white tee, jar sleeve. Drying out uh, five degrees Celsius, no Fahrenheit Celsius, it's raining, and it's fine, there is no problem. The length is to my hips, sleeves, sleeves, shoulders, sit really well. Remember, this is size large, my head is 184 centimeters, it fits, my weight is 94 kilograms, and my chest measurements is 44 inch, uh, 44 inch or 112 centimeters. I can button up. And with all these layers, I can button up, there's no problem. The front, the side, the back, the other side, and the back to the front. You see, it's a very nice jacket. Give you my final thoughts. But before to give you my final thoughts, please, if you like this channel, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, help me to grow this channel. Uh, one thing about this, about this jacket. It's really nice jacket, despite it's not made in USA. The quality is top-notch. The materials are top-notch. Uh, we are paying for this $350. Uh, which one, which is the place of this jacket? I have three competitors, uh, main because I are, um, are they, what they pick what I like more. There are other wax jackets, uh, but what I like more as Fleet and Tinder, Rock Territory, uh, Free Not Clothes, and this jacket. This different price, but the most, ch the, the cheaper one is Fleet and Tinder, $298. And this, $350. And the Free Not Clothes is expensive, that is $420, I think. And Rock Territory. Which one pick? All depends what's your taste. I think three of the, the four of them are really good quality in the uh, price range, are good materials, are really well constructed, and are jackets that are gonna last long, long time if you take the care that they deserve and need. Uh, if you ask me which one I, I like more, to me, it's a free clothes. I really like the free clothes. But this is uh, coming in, 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 in the second place with the rock territory, and after that, the fleet and tinder. Uh, I'm gonna keep all of these jackets because I really, really like it. But if you want to want, uh, buy one, think two things. What you like it is lighter, heavier, 
and how deep is your pocket? And then you're gonna have the right choice because all of these jackets are really, really nice. See you in the next and let's keep doing reviews. Bye.